Hello everyone, you're watching Jana FX and in this video as usual I'll share with you results of this trading week and also uh, technical overview of gold for this coming week. As you can see guys, uh, this week my profit was uh, slightly more than $14,000. I did actually um, took out a bit of the profit from my account and at this moment I have um, floating one open trade and it is a sell, uh, quite big one also with uh, 10 lots and um, it, I didn't close the trade I decided to leave it for this week but this could possibly be uh, a bit of a mistake and I'm going to um, give you the um, overview of gold in a minute just want to show you once again my telegram channel where I'm sending my pending orders and um, as you saw guys all the again all my trades closed out with profits and um, my uh, telegram channel official name is Jana FX. You can find the links uh, in the description under this video and it is absolutely free. Um, once again, I'm um, repeating that uh, risk warning. Remember that trading Forex is extremely risky and all the profits or losses you're making is uh, all as your responsibility okay i'm only making these videos as informational uh, just showing and sharing with you what i do so um, be careful and uh, of course the uh, use money management the lot sizes take profits stop losses it's all up to you guys okay so once again uh, my um, trading is my trading so let's see what um, happened with gold. Gold, uh, I have to say, been um, very uh, volatile and crazy for the last weeks. And with all these geopolitical events happening, especially between Israel and now Iran. So um, we had jumps on gold and uh, finally huge drop on Friday. Okay, so let's just go in a bit bigger time frame. Uh, just going to make it also a little bit bigger so you can see a um, better picture. So we had uh, movements, markets going up pretty much without uh, a good retracement. And finally on Friday we had a little bit of the uh, that move down where I have a I had a really nice sell I caught it and uh, I put the stop loss profitable this moment um, slightly above the price and hoping that um, we will continue um, down so this is my a possible expectation of the reverse okay so the, the market has been going for quite a while it did hit the um, uh, like what 2400 something right and um, suddenly it's just um, suddenly it's, it's dropped so yes uh, if we will look on a bigger time frames like in the daily it's really nice big candle um, pretty similar to the previous right a reverse and uh, also we have on the weekly uh, nice candle with the week except it's a little green but still right if we would look at the previous reversals that's kind of similar weeks candles we had uh, and um, also uh, the daily ones right so it kind of like gives um, technically a, a hope that we are reversing so um, if I will now of course how far it will go so of course um, the only point here is to try to use Fibonacci levels and I'm going to use that leg because this one didn't have um, correction right so basically the first expectation like around 23 so where it's going to go about 23 44 a little bit lower maybe here could be a little bit of correction and then continuation to the next possible level so we have 32 is around 22 62 then we have quite important 150 is around 22 161 um, below so let's say roughly target could be around this area is 2200 2100 and um on the other hand, if we will have the whole leg right from the previous start of this rise, yeah, uh, we will see even further, right? It could go below, uh, we have 61, below 2076, which is, I think, is extremely strong support. And if it will break it further down, then I would be looking at possible going 
to the open gap, right? So that's just a technical picture, guys, that would, I would, of course, if we will not break 2060, 2076, that's the, the previous uh, breakout of stops, then, of course, I would say that this, this is it. We have um, um, strong support and then it will continue to rise. The goal continue to rise. That's the technical, okay? That's the technical picture. Uh, would have been uh, the view. That's the, the picture. My expectation was previously before the June interest rates decision. And to be honest now, uh, it's all complicated because um, we've seen the CPI gone up a bit. And uh, so the expectation now that Fed will not cut rates in June, which I was actually saying uh, before that I can't even see when with the previous um, numbers I just couldn't see Fed cutting the rates just yet and actually now they're even talking that might increase rates okay that's the possibility of course that would be kind of a shock for the markets but we've seen it's like dollar gone quite strong pretty much against all the other pairs well except the gold gold is just nuts at this moment and then and that's why guys this is would have been a normal scenario if we wouldn't have such geopolitical tensions at this moment. So I'm going to remove the Fibonacci levels and um, I'm still going to leave the daily time frame so you can see uh, what we can expect because you do know that Iran did uh, attack Israel. But OK, so how the market is going to open that's the question everybody's asking uh, basically it was not unexpected that iran will uh, iran would attack israel because they've been talking about it for quite a, a while right few days and it was expected that it will be happening during this weekend and exactly happened so we are many people are uh, looking at this situation and the Hamas gap right we had uh, when Hamas attacked well to be honest he, he is really hard because for me it's also really hard here you see I uh, I can I might have a loss and could be heavy loss if the market will open with the huge gap if the gap will be market opens above my sell then who knows the first tick of the price and then uh, I might I might make a loss I don't know how the how the broker would deal with this and what the reaction is going to be here um, so that's a little bit of that's why I really don't like to leave those um, trades uh, keeping through the weekends. But to be honest, I felt my view was here that we already know about it's a possible attack. It was like 90% chance that it will be. Then it was a sudden drop. And if we will co compare the previous move that it was instead, it was also Friday. And instead it was... Um, move up sudden move up before the market closed so this is kind of looks a bit opposite right opposite situation so but of course the logical would be an expectation that we will not open the gap down right i mean it could it would be kind of like really weird if this is going to happen like a mirroring uh here uh open gap up and this is open gap down if something like this happens i might actually believe that it will be mirror and then we will go all the way down just like we went here all the way up but logically as it is looks like an escalation uh of the war uh, then yeah the logical would be we will open the market with the gap up but so i think we will open the gap up okay so the question is how big the gap will be and of course i'm also comparing with this one it was about slightly less than 200 pips that gap was so uh, that's from the opening of uh, today we might expect the gap might might i well okay if it's 200 pips we have slightly two 2360 2370 um 2400 mm, quite possibly could be hopefully no but some people are saying 2500 or 2300 um 3000 anything can happen i don't see that because it is it was not unexpected if just it would be similar to what happened last time unexpected i don't know maybe land um enter then yes, but it's mi missiles, drones, and it's a uh, usual thing. Well, it's really sad to say that, but it's kind of like a usual thing for Israel to have those missiles going through. That's why in my view, what I see here, a possible, yes, we will open first with a gap, 
maybe 200 pips up and then maybe a little bit it will start to try to go up but then we will go back and stay in here and maybe go for some consolidation okay and um, uh, if possibly market wants to take advantage a little bit of the um, you know more like American news right like okay geopolitical okay we know about this the the thing is happening I think if there will be no like official uh, announcements of uh, the war again against Iran Iran Iraq war because it was not declared uh, as far as I know while I'm making the video it was not declared officially then uh, quite possibly the the market might just have a bit of the time for uh, a bit correction still to go down a little bit and then we will see I'll, I'll place my um, Fibonacci levels again to see where it can go so as you saw where the possibilities could be so I see um, more this way um, the um, things are going and if not if there is still few hours right it's still uh, before the market opens so there's quite possible be if more escalations and some other countries might say they are going to go into it um, then I would say yes it could possibly be a gap then going to go a little bit up some consolidation and then with uh, more announcements and uh, escalations it might continue uh, to go even further going even further without any correction at this moment just all purely depending on uh, this ge geopolitical situation and announcements from uh, wherever is going to be happening at middle east okay so that's that's how i um, kind of see it at this moment that's why guys it just uh, some of my ideas some of my views uh, wherever it's going to happen or not I just hope it's not going to <laughs> jump like really, really above my uh, entry point of the sale. Um, otherwise, I might actually blow the whole account <laughs> if it's going to go up. To, if it's going to open at 2,500, then who knows uh, what's going to happen with my open position. Of course, in such situations, um, shouldn't really keep anything open. Uh, or if open, uh, yeah, better not to keep open. That's that's really could be my big mistake. One of uh, mistakes. Yes, I mean I do some mistakes, make some mistakes, but this is could be a quite big one. But like I'm saying, I have withdrawn some of the uh, amount of money just in case because yes, I can see that gold could be uh, very risky at this moment, especially with me trying to get in the bigger lots, which is a little bit. Um, not smart okay let's say this way but anyway all my um, other um, trades I have been sending to my telegram channel like I'm saying to you guys like I'm saying again um, it is risk you are uh, decide for yourself if you want to follow or whatever you want to do I'm still sending to my telegram channel uh, less uh, risky trades the, the ones I take there I consider them less risky they're more um, safer they're a bit safer for example like I didn't uh, send this type of the um, um, like this sale I made and placed the stop loss behind I don't send anything like this because this is a big risk to take and I know that some could just follow without thinking um, that's why I'm only trying to send my pending orders mostly F from time to time it's um, instant orders but again when I see it could be it's it's not as risky okay so yeah you see guys I, I know my risks I take my risks so it's like okay if it's going to be really bad then um, um, who knows how much uh, loss I can I can take <laughs> this we can't this is going to be a um, uh, surprise um, so we will see I just I, I just don't know to be honest uh, what to expect at this moment what to expect from the market well um, uh, that's it for now guys uh, I hope you like the video of course um, if you are interested uh, to see more like subscribe and um, happy trading everyone yeah and see you uh, talk to you in my next video bye everyone